Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to cover block UI's basics, recreation settings, module settings and some icon indications to keep an eye out for. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If not, please make sure to let me know how I can do better in the comments. To get started, let's open Block UI from Ansoor's menu and go over some of the main sections. If you haven't installed a product yet, I included a link to the installation guide in the video description, which includes all the information you need to get started. Right, so this is Block Builder Main UI. As you can see, it is split into three main sections. The first section is the Action section, where you can load up a module or rig setting, you can construct your rig and deconstruct your rig. The second section is the modules list. These are all the components that we're going to use in structure on top of one another to create our entire rig. The third section is the edit section. This section is split into four different tabs and we're going to focus on the first tab for the time being. The main tab consists of four drop down layouts which we will cover as we go along. Let's move on and create our first rig top. All we have to do is double click any module from the module list on the left, for example an FK chain. Once I double click the FK chain, a new rig top creation settings UI has been initiated. All the attributes in here can be changed after the fact so we don't have to worry about them too much for now, but let's go over them roughly. At the top we've got our character name related attributes, we've got some asset scale related attributes, general rig construction attributes, picker attributes, and of course the color scheme for the entire rig. I'm sure some of you have noticed we've got another tab here called custom scripts. Those allow you to insert any Python code that you've created that you want to execute at any stage of the rig construction or deconstruction. Let's keep all of these empty for now. Also for the main tab, let's keep everything default for now, except for naming our character male dummy. I'm going to click create new rig top. As you can see, a new rig top has been created as well as all subgroups beneath it. Once that's done, a new module creation settings UI has been initiated automatically. This UI is split in two. The first tab is the common settings, meaning that all settings within this tab are shared within every module, although the second tab is the module specific attributes. All of these attributes will not be shared between the modules and they're specific to every component. To keep things simple, let's keep everything default for now and just take a look at the number of guides that we're creating, which is now three. Let's go ahead and build our FK chain guides and let's navigate this in and see what happened. Now we can see that a new root guy has been created, which belongs to the rig top, as well as the three guys that we requested to create for the FK chain. These guides can be manipulated anywhere and those will be controlling our deformations. As you can see, a join chain has been created as well, which is associated with that module. So now that I've got my join chain created, I can actually start working on some deformations. So what I've done off screen is created a simple cylinder for me to be able to deform. Now I need to bind my skin, but I cannot access my joints since they're referenced and unselectable. So how do I access them? The first way is manipulating the display state attribute within the rig top transform. At the rig top transform, you'll see an attribute for every subgroup that controls its display state. So I can always go to my joint structure group state, move that into normal and select my joints from the scene. I can leave that as is and locate my joints from the outliner and select those. But even easier, I can go and select my FK chain root guide go into the deformation tab where I've got a select skinning joints utility and simply use that to select my skinning joints and bind my skin. Now that the skin is bound, I want to construct my rig for the first time. I'm going to select my root guide and simply construct the rig. I've got my main control in here, which controls the entire rig, and I've got my behavior for the module based on the settings that I've chosen in the module settings. So what happens now? What if I want to make any changes? I can simply deconstruct my rig back to guide state 
And now I'm back at the beginning and I can tweak any settings I want within the module. I'm going to select my root guide again and go into module settings. The module settings UI has been created and I can tweak any attributes within here. So for this one, I want to tweak my deformations and create my interpolation joints within that module. I'm going to select to do interpolation joints and I'm going to select the amount of interpolation joints that I want to create. Let's say for this one, I want to say 10. Some of you may have noticed there are a few indications within the module settings UI that's worth mentioning. Since the joint structure is being created when you create your guides and not when you build your puppet, it's important to know which attributes affect that joint structure. For that, we got two icon indications. The first one is the joint structure member, which is this icon over here. This icon means that whenever you change this attribute and update your settings, the joint structure is going to be recreated meaning that any scheme that you used using those joints is going to break, which is very important to know before you make those changes for you to be able to expect those. The second one is the soft join structure member, meaning that the joint structure will not be recreated, but it may slightly move. Any attribute that is not marked by any of these two indications means that it will not affect the joint structure whatsoever. Since I don't really care about the current skin, that won't be a problem. Just going to select my cylinder and delete history and click update settings. Once I do that, you'll see a new joint structure that's created within this module, which I can use now to deform my cylinder. I'm going to repeat one of the steps that I've done earlier, select my module root guide, go into the deformation and select skinning joints that will select my interpolation joints. I'm going to select my cylinder and rebind my skin. Now I can reconstruct my rig. When I reconstruct, I see no difference in controls since I didn't choose to change any control related settings, but I can definitely see a difference in deformation since now my interpolation joints are driving the deformation. So now that we covered the basics, in the next video we're going to start rigging a full character, which will take us deeper into the system and the modules. We will cover more settings, go deeper into the build methods, and learn more about component relationships. Please like, share and subscribe, and don't hesitate to give me some feedback in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.